nail it. Yeah, this is exactly what we want to do. Kill the TV. Hard to say if that was those black dots are on. Those are on my wife's screen because she paints. Oh, okay. So. Okay, that's good. So I got going to be a bad if it's in there. Off air. Looks good. Mm -hmm. This cam's way better than. How handsome you look, Jenna. Thanks, buddy. Oh, he says we're up now. Okay, guys. I hey. guess we are. <laughs> this is hilarious because. We are just three putzes putzing our way through live streaming for the first time on the Whiskey Explorer here with you guys for the 100th uh, celebration, uh, the 100th subscriber celebration. So thanks in part to all you guys for jumping on and subscribing to the channel. And of course, to the Scotch for Dummies for pushing us over the envelope there. We are coming to you live to celebrate our 100 subscribers. And you know what? As these things go with YouTube, momentum keeps going we're already at 120 right now so what happens just loving it Time and we've got our fun. We've got our instagram going and everything now so we should be good to go guys and without further ado what i think we're going to need to do is definitely definitely check out some drams so i want to show you guys kind of what we got going on here see if we can uh sort of adjust the camera here for you guys a bit just so you guys can see what's going on so we've got a blind flight lined up here. Yes, indeed. And what we've got for the blind flight is we are going to try to discover what is Brad's favorite single malt scotch. So I might do one as well a little bit later, but I'll do the bourbon side of things. So for all you bourbonites all out there, um, I'll have a bourbon tasting and I'll try to decipher what my favorite bourbon is that's in my bar, of course. So a little bit limited to what I have right now, but uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty good selection though. It's not bad. Let's don't sell it short, Jeff. Don't sell it short. On. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna show you guys how we set this up. And we basically I'm just borrowing this technique from many other uh, whiskey tubers. So what I've got is I've got a colored sticker under each one of these glasses. Now that colored sticker corresponds with one of these bottles. And these are bottles that I just so happen to know are right in Brad the Fish's wheelhouse. That's right. These are the type of whiskeys that this guy loves. So we've got the Compass Box Spice Tree here. We've got the Macallan 12. We've got the Jura Superstition. We've got the Deanston Virgin Oak, which we did in our Deanston shout out. If you guys want to check out our YouTube page and see that showdown, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do that. And then we've also got this one here, which is the Deanston 12 year selection. So these are all uh, whiskeys that Brad knows now from being on the Whiskey Explorer. How do you and choose just one when they're all so good? Exactly, how right? Do you, I mean, how and do you choose one? For Brad too, I put in some heavy hitters here. So I put in some of his absolute favorites. So he loves the Jura Superstition. Absolutely. This is right in his wheelhouse. This is what really got Brad kind of started on his going, whiskey yeah. journey. So yeah. you guys know how that is. We always- uh, This McAllen 12 was the first one I ever did. Yeah. And this was the first review he did, and he loved the McAllen 12. Yeah. So, and we've got some Deanston selections here as well, very tasty. And then what ended up, so Brad used to have the Jura as his favorite. What happened then when I introduced you to Mr. Uh, Spice Tree there? Changed my life. Changed his life. So delicious. So, so delicious. yeah, so that's, so that's basically, you know, it sort of switched a bit for him and this became his top whiskey. So what we want to do tonight is we want to find out definitively if Brad, is actually in a blind tasting scenario, in a blind tasting situation, is he going to choose the Compass Box as his favorite whiskey? And that is the beauty of doing a blind tasting. So the, I'm excited. And the only thing that, that Brad has to go on, really to be honest, is color. So that is sort of the one thing you can do. He can kind of have a look at what's in the dram there and kind of match up colors, but Brad's not that kind of guy. No, I'm he's also colorblind, so it's not gonna help either. So. so there you go, and he's gonna shoot you guys straight. He's gonna tell you what he thinks. And we're going to rank these whiskeys from least favorite to most favorite. And then we're going to tell you guys which one is simply the best. Got that engraved right on the Glencairn. All right. 
So, Brad, I'm going to let you sit down Let's here. Let's do this. I'm excited. Get ready. And we'll get these bottles kind of a little bit out of the way here. Oh, I'm excited. So we'll get these bottles here. And what we'll do is we'll just put them, we'll put them behind here for now. And then we can, we can reference those kind of when we get there. So much, so much goodness. So much goodness. So now we've got all the drams set up there. So Brad, um, these are, these are already going to be pretty scrambled up. So I think you're good to go. So what I think you should do is whenever you're ready and whenever you want to taste some whiskey, jump in there and get born. into it. I was born ready. So don't forget, give that guy a nosing. Oh, that smells so good. I already know what, I already know what this one is. Mm, smells like sweet, a little bit of butterscotch. Mm, smell like cow, it smells so good. That smells really yeah. good. Delicious. I, I think I know what that one is. I, I think I have, an, I have an idea which one this one is too. Mm. Delicious. I think I know what that one is. I think I have, I have an idea which one this one is too. Well, we got Jeff in the background doing something. I'm chatting with the folks. Oh, I like I'm it. I'm ch chatting with the uh, fellow explorers. And it. we are also going to be doing something really cool with you guys. We're going to introduce you guys to something new that we are going to be launching here in Victoria, BC on Vancouver Island. It's going to be awesome. So that's coming up later. Right now, let's focus on this blind tasting here with Brad the Fish. I, I, took, I, I just snuck a sip in quick. Right? Victoria, BC on Vancouver Island. It's going to be awesome. So that's coming up later. Right now, let's focus on this wine tasting here with Brad the Fish. I just got to sip it. So good. <laughs> oh, still super sweet. Doesn't have a lot of bite to it. Very smooth. See, Brad's getting so good at this that I don't even tell him to give the tasting notes anymore. They just come out of them. They're just so, it's so tasty. It's I, I'm going to pass this to Kyle because I want him to have some. So Yeah. Um, but very smooth. Sure. Just very sure round. Just super good. I'm going to adjust our lighting just a bit here too. Um, as the air catches it, it's only going to get a little bit better. Uh, I love this one. This one's very good. I'm, I'm, I'm a little stuck to which one I think it is, but I think I'm going to. I like that one. Yeah. Kyle makes a funny face every time every he drinks time. whiskey, but I mean, he ends up liking I'm it again. So I like it. I like it. I do like that one. That's really good. So Jeff, am I going to, am I, am I going to guess live? No, little, no. Exactly, so okay. what you're going to do is you're going to nose them, taste them and then put them, rank them. So you can already start to say, okay, so obviously you've, that's your first one. Yeah, you don't right? know what you're gonna do no, yet. I'm not. So you're gonna nose this guy, taste them, and then you can start to already rank out your whiskey. Well, this one, there. this is a healthy dram here. This is a healthy one. Okay, guys, we are five people deep in the chat. So love thank it. you guys love for it. being Keep part it up, of guys. this. Um, Keep it going. We'd love to have more people stop by, but the nice thing about these live streams is you do one of these fun live streams with everybody, you do your celebration, and uh, that's what we're celebrating anyways today. And um, then what's cool is that you've got the playback option. So if you miss the live stream tonight, I mean, Saturday night, it's going to be a popular night to be out and about. If you miss it, you can always come back and check out Who the live stream. Who would want to be here with us, though? Well, that is true. Right? That, I mean, that's the idea. That is true. <laughs> um, so and so not now a you're... Lot, uh, see this one? Not a lot coming off of this. See, not a lot coming off the nose. So already you kind of you maybe have an idea of where you might go with this one in terms of your ranking. Yeah, this one's a little bit more um, very basic. Maybe a little bit of not maybe a little plum maybe coming off of it. Hmm. So you got some dark some dark fruits in yeah, there. Dark notes, yeah, dark notes anyway. Maybe not necessarily plum, but Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna taste it now. Actually like that first one. Yeah. So let me get Sorry. you let me get you gents some waters too. That way you guys can do a palate cleanse between your grams. Okay. Still wish I could drink more of the first one, which I, I'm going to, but um, yeah, you know, so I'm going to try that one. I think I know what that one is. Pretty confident in that one. I'm going to sneak a little bit of the first one back because that one's really good. So there's some water for your bread so you can do a palate cleanse between oh, your drams. So just take a little sip of water between, that way you. Kind of get the full experience. I'm still into this one. Kyle, you're into the first one too. Still. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Definitely. All right. Well, let's just see what we let's just keep keep this rolling. See what we get going here. So we're too deep. Yeah. Uh, out of the two. Yeah. So you can already. This start one's ranking. my favorite. This the first one's my favorite. Okay. Gotcha. So we're gonna move on to the third one here. So you've got first place, second place. Yeah. Okay. So let's start going like this. We we'll go uh, least favorite to favorite. So obviously Brad's got that one drank down quite a bit. So he must be. Enjoying that one thoroughly. I love the color of this one. It uh, That is a rich color in there. And uh, just wanted to let you guys know, uh, just as a little side note while Brad's doing a bit of tasting, got this awesome mini barrel. Just uh, bring that up to the camera for you guys to see. The Whiskey Explorer, sweet mini barrel. So what we're gonna be doing in the next few weeks is we will be doing barrel aging experiments. So we're gonna be doing some barrel aging. I'm gonna take some moonshine and I'm gonna turn that into a whiskey via this mini barrel. After that, we are going to refill this cask with port and we're gonna port finish some whiskeys that I already have that are already aged products. So moonshine is a new distillate. It's not aged in any barrels or anything like that. So we're gonna see what kind of effect this oak barrel, charred oak barrel has on a new make spirit. So that should be super fun. How exciting so is that? That's gonna yeah. be good. Dude, it's gonna be good. We're gonna do some episodes on that. We're also gonna take you guys through how to use that mini barrel. I got that mini barrel from Oak Barrels Limited. Mm -hmm. uh, great little company there selling these uh, mini oak barrels. And what's super cool is they laser engraved this, like they made that engraving on there for me free of charge. So I was like, that's cool. I gotta, I gotta give those guys some props for that and let you folks know where you can get your own mini barrel to do your own aging experiments. So this drum here, it's got like a caramel taste to it, um, but the taste, or yeah, taste is very good. The smell of it's more caramel, but this is very. That's for my wife. <laughs> this is um, <laughs> this whiskey tastes better than it smells. Maybe that's the best way I could taste. I, I could describe it. Absolutely. Okay, so my wife uh, just jumped onto the uh, live stream here. She says, "Brad, stop drinking all the whiskey." Well, what do you want me to do? That's what I he does. I like his daughter's comment though. Oh, That's yeah, right. my yeah, daughter's on it. That's I right. Love it. The fish, the fish. So Libby, good. I love you. There you go. It's all about family. It's That's all about, right. you know, the only thing better than the whiskey itself is the people that you enjoy it with, you know? So it's all about that community that we're trying to build here on the Whiskey Explorer. Absolutely. And honestly, guys, I'm being held up by the other Whiskey Explorers here. So I'm being held up by awesome whiskey tubers, Scotch for Dummies, um, Scotch Test Dummies. That's We've me. got... Yeah, that's you. Uh, <laughs> we've, got, uh, we've got lots of other channels that I've been following and that uh, yeah, inspired me to start this. So Trenny and C, want to give a shout out to you guys. You guys were instrumental. Uh, Bourbon Sane, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for all of your help sorting out our tech foibles with live streaming for the first time. Really appreciate that. And him and I are going to be doing some co-streams coming up. So that means I'm going to have to uh, beef up my bourbon selection for sure. So right now I've only got five bourbons. I know that's going to make him cry. But uh, that's what I've got for now. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to beef it up. Got a trip planned to the United States coming up soon. Going to be bringing back some of the good bourbons. Going to be looking for the Elijah Craig uh, Barrel Proof, and um, maybe some maybe some other really like stuff that's hard to get here, like the E. H. Taylor, something like that, small batch or single barrel. We'll see what I can find down there. Angels Envy, we can't get here either. And so we're also going to do back. a fun one where I'm going to bring back a bottle from the states when I go down to Vegas next month. We're going to do. A Don't say. I'm not gonna say it. It's He's gonna be that. good. It's That's gonna right. be a good time. That's right. We gotta get we gotta get people interested in what so, we might do. I finished this last one. Um, so the third one I tasted is my second favorite. The first one I tasted is my first favorite. The second one I tasted is my last. If you can keep up with that. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so this is actually what's interesting too is this is the first time we've actually done a uh, a oh. a uh, a flight fight on the channel. So first time we're doing it and we're going live. So okay. so. Um, that's, that's something that's pretty huh. cool too. I'm trying to think and look at these, but. And so, um, I, think I know this one. I don't know. No, I... Yeah. So bourbon and stains jumping on the live chat. Um, my buddy, Chris, and he's saying the ECBP is a great one. Unfortunately, they're hard to find here in the States too. That is what I was afraid of. So the, the batch that's out right now, I, I think it's called the nine Oh something or other nine Oh seven. Correct me. Jump in there. Bourbon saying, um, that batch is supposed to be insanely good and it's probably selling out really quick. So tough one to get your hands on the States means Canada. We're just, we're just not going to see it. Um, unfortunately. So and one thing that we're talking about is 
that kind of dichotomy where you've got all of the good bourbons, but they stay in the States. Sort of like Canadian whiskey, we have a terrible reputation worldwide, especially in the States. People slam us all the time for having horrible whiskey because the stuff they're drinking is like Crown Royal, you know, like, or whatever right. other bottom shelf Canadian club, right? Well, careful. So, I mean, Crown Royal is not bottom shelf, though. Yeah, for the whiskey explorer, it's, it's for us. Well, yeah, maybe, but I mean, um, so, you know, that that's the thing. We keep the good whiskey here in Canada, which is a shame. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to get you guys some Canadian whiskey. We're going to find a way. We're going to do some sample exchanges. Um, that we're going to try to generate, but I'm also going to do a sample giveaway for you guys today. And what I'm going to do is when we have the people in the chat and they're going to just drop a keyword down into the chat, we're going to uh, take those people in the draw and I'm going to mail somebody a sample of something good. So, and, and no, Olivia, you do not get to win the giveaway for whiskey. You that's not right. Old enough to drink it. So good there try. you go. All right. So Brad, where are we at with so this plane flight? So on the fourth one, um, okay. this one is very, I get a little bit of smoke. I get a little bit, um, Maybe a little bit of peat, but um, definitely um, more of like a stronger fruit taste. Like I don't know what kind of fruit or like smell coming off of it, but it's strong, but I don't know what kind of fruit that would be. Okay. So so maybe like a dark fruit of some kind, but not really able to describe it quite. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to taste it and we're going to find out. Okay. Let's do it. So we're at a whopping six people in the live chat. Hey man, numbers don't matter to us. We already uh, reached our goal of 100 subscribers to celebrate with you guys today. Really we're just too. glad to have you stop by and hang out with us. And what are you guys drinking tonight? So what's in your dram tonight? It was funny, I uh, was chatting with Chris last night, just getting some tips on live streaming. I was like, so what was in your glass? You know, what's, what you got in your glass tonight? He's just like, too much, man. Started making a list of all these great bourbons. And I was like, man, that guy's, that guy's got a good collection going there. So, something to aspire to anyways. Absolutely. That one's a really smoky one. Small, yeah, yeah. So you got smoke on that smoke. one. Yeah. Oh, big time. Yeah. Okay. But I feel pretty confident in um, kind of where I'm at here. The taste is very good though. Like it's a really good tasting. If you don't mind a little bit of smoke, uh, definitely. Okay, so we got, um, I might as well whisk as far as dip in here. So we got um, some people chiming in what they're drinking. Um, Aberfeldy 12, uh, nice. So the Aberfeldy 12, that is actually um, a pretty uh, affordable uh, single malt out here. Uh, we can get that one for about 60 bucks. So as far as single malts go, that's outrageously good. Yeah. So that one, that's one that's been on my list for quite some time. So I want to definitely try up. the Aberfeldy. Make a list. Sure. And make sure you guys drop in a list of some stuff we should pick up. Definitely. Mm. I like this and I know mm -hmm. exactly what this is. You know exactly what that is? Yeah. Yeah, I was... Um, That's nice. You know what I get on that one? It's funny. I get walnut. Like, uh, there's a nutty quality. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's see where I'm going to please see. So we got first, second. Right. Okay, so nice. Bourbon Sane says he wants to branch out more into scotch. Well... I'll tell you what, Bourbon Sane, I'll branch a little bit out into bourbon. We'll, we'll on the channel here with Whiskey Explorer and our guests, we'll branch out more into bourbon. You branch out more into scotch, and we can help each other out that way. Absolutely. Because kind of you're, like you're, you're, you're the bourbon guy, so, and, you know, we primarily do uh, single malt scotches or blended scotches, so let's uh, put our heads together and we can help each other out. So we are on to the fifth and final. Fifth and final. So we're almost at the end of this blind flight. Here we go. Because you guys know what's coming next, right? You can't just do scotch. We got to, you know, for our brothers and sisters out there that love bourbon, we got to do the bourbon too. Absolutely. So we're going to be dipping into another bourbon. Uh, well, not another bourbon. We're going to be doing a whole flight of bourbons. Yeah. So, yeah. I could tell Brad really likes that one. Just the way you react. Nice little, like, um, uh, there's Alice. Okay. <laughs> so um, <laughs> someone just, just asked, walnut or almond, not being a smart ass either. Thank you, Mark. Uh, so I would say that like what came to mind right away for me on that dram was like a walnut flavor. Although I, I do get where you're heading with that because walnut is always like just a bit bitter and it wasn't that bitter. So maybe somewhere in between. Yeah, hard to say. I didn't really get that much time with that dram. So maybe if I was able to dip into it again, I could find some more things, but. So what's this one? Yeah, there you go, it's easy. I can just pass it to you. Mmm, that's tasty. Honey, a little bit of smoke, 
some apricot, a little bit of walnut, almond, kind of nutty flavor to it, hint of maple syrup, a little bit of cinnamon spice, and there was something else there. Are you sure, Jeff? It yeah. Sounds like you named everything in the world. So. Well, a little bit of peat. Definitely a little bit of peat smoke on there. And that that is the the telltale right there. That tells me exactly what I'm what I'm drinking. So this one's pretty easy to pin down for me. Kyle, did, Kyle you got some on one uh, I do believe I did. Okay, Kyle, go I'll do it again, though. Uh, see if you can find a bit of marzipan, too. Marzipan, eh? Yeah. I'm just like saying. It could be there. You never know. It's there. I'm telling you. You know what we should have done is get coasters, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Jeff. You have one job. I know. No. One job. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. This guy one job bro. to be on time. Well, whatever. You know, no, four I, to six I minutes late. Go. I mean, it's not a big deal. But I can't get there. Okay. So, Brad, we tried right. all five. Almost, yeah. Well, I have, yet. Yeah. I'm just trying to get into this one a little bit more. Um, so, uh, Bourbon Saints asking, how long have you all been into whiskey? So for us, um, I started a little over a year ago, probably about a year, maybe pushing a year and a half now. Um, Brad, pretty recent for you. Definitely, yeah. Like, I mean, I've dabbled a little bit, but just to try to be cool when I was younger, I thought I'd try to have a whiskey and think it was super cool in the bar, but never understood what it was. But yeah. And I mean, it's a, it's quite the uh, road, right? It's a long road and it's a fun road. And it's, it's been journey. so much fun. We've In our journey now, we've had a lot of good nights and a lot of good stories. Absolutely. It's just been a blast. It's been a blast. For me, probably about, I don't know, four weeks ago. Yeah. I just started trying it out. And I think that's when we, uh, when we morning, every day. had them over for the, uh, what was it? The Wisers we did first, right? Yeah, we did Wise that. We did the Deanstons. Yeah. We did. Oh, um, that was a fun night. We did the McKenna. <laughs> we did the McKenna too. One. Yeah. And uh, and the funny story about that is that I was telling this to my brother because we got wasted. So we actually well, also did. Uh, well, <laughs> two of us. Uh, we also uh, we also tried to do a, a review of uh, Wild Turkey 101 that night. And I forgot to turn the mic on the camera, so we blew that one. And I'm like, well, that's no good, boys. Let's just record it again. And I'm like, I'm pretty like buzzed by this point. So I start pouring the re-pouring the drams, and the battery starts dying on the camera. So I'm hot swapping the battery with the camera like every I think two minutes. Like six takes. Six of takes it. of it, something like that crazy. In the end, footage not really usable. So I don't even that remember was, that. I know. It's quite the night. It's quite the <laughs> yeah. night. It was a good time. I mean, well, we explore whiskey. We that's gotta, what know, we do. We're not going to keep it to one. So. That's right. Speaking of that, getting back to this one, this one's sweet. I get, um, I get like apricot right away on this one. I don't know why, um, but the taste of it's, uh, it's definitely sweet. A little bit of smoke. Very smooth. A little bit, of, oh, just a bite at the end that I'm not a big fan of. So that's on the last round. That's on the last one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying McKenna is a good sip. Absolutely. So initially, we were kind of, we reviewed that. And I think that because we're pretty, all relatively new to bourbon, that one at the barrel, well, at the uh, bottle and bond strength of um, no, just... 100 proof, 50%, that, that kind of kicked us in like the face of it. No, I don't know. So either. I've danced but a bit more with that one again. and enjoying the McKenna more and more each time I try it. So. Definitely good. So Brad, you got your we wind up. We are done. Okay, let's line it up. Let's see what's up here with our uh, with our blind challenge. So I guess so. You're like first to fifth, I guess you're gonna tell me what they are. Yeah. At this point. But first, you gotta guess. Okay. Okay. So make sure uh, we got them all on the screen there. So we've got the five single malt scotches. Yep. No blends here. And Brad's going to rank them from least favorite to favorite. So which side is your least favorite? This, uh, the least favorite from yeah. this side. Okay. This right. Okay. So what, which one do you think that this one is here? I believe this one is, um, I believe this one is the Deanston 12. Okay. So should we put that? Yes. So, no, not yet. We'll okay. do the reveal. So you think this one's the Deanston 12? I think this is the Deanston 12. I okay. think this is the Deanston Virgin Oak. Okay. I think this is the McCallum. Okay. I think this is Jira. Okay. And that's Spice Tree. 
All right, so let's find out the reveal, see what we got. So we have got a yellow sticker on this one. So this one, your least favorite, the instant virgin oak. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Non-age statement, so we're probably dealing with a fairly young whiskey there. What I do like about the Deanston Virgin Oak is we still got a craft presentation here. We've still got a whiskey that is bottled at 40, over 46%, non-chill filtered, likely non-colored, and is coming in at a price point of about 45 bucks Canadian. So that's a steal as far as the single malt world goes. And it gets people that want to get into scotch a chance to do so on a good budget, I think. Yeah. So least favorite here is the Deanston Virgin Oak. Which one did you say this one you thought this one was? I thought this was uh, this one was the other Deanston. Okay, so you think this is the Deanston 12? Yeah. Okay, let's find out. So on that one, we've got a purple sticker. So which one is the purple sticker? He guessed correctly, folks. Nailed it. Nailing it. Okay, so Deanston Virgin Oak. Then we go to the Deanston 12. Which one did you think the middle one was there? I thought this middle one was the McAllen. Okay, I think this middle one, that was the one with a bit of smoke. Yeah. That's the Jura. You think so? Well, I did drink more of them. So that one, we have the green. Jura. Cool. So that, that was Brad's former favorite before he started kind of really getting into the whiskey journey. Okay. And so, so, then, so this one has to be McAllen. That one has to be Spice Tree. So that's so not screwing that up. Got this awesome, awesome comment here. Um, Moose 76. Blinds will spin you, but shows you what you really like. Absolutely. Well, and yeah. that's why the whiskey tubers, out. that's why we all love doing these blind tastings. Because honestly, I could tell you just based on brand preference or loyalty or what's in my head about a memory about that bottle or someone that I had that drink with, but that's my favorite. But until you try and blind, you truly don't know. So very good point. Thanks for, for saying that. Uh, and also Bourbon saying, yeah, that's what he said. Uh, for sure, that's why I love doing them. Absolutely. And we're going to be doing more and more of them on this channel. So yeah, stay fun. tuned. Very exciting. All right. So what do we got now? Which one do you think this guy is? Uh, I think that one, that uh, this one's going to be the McAllen. This one's going to be Spice Tree. Okay. So what do we got here? I'll be surprised if it's not because we I, got I feel red. very confident in that taste. Compass box. Wow. Spice Tree. And for the win, the McAllen 12. The McAllen wow. 12. So there we go. There you guys have That's it. Fine. Like That's that. fine. I'm going to drink the rest of this McAllen 12 because it's delicious. Boom. Boom. There you have it. Okay, guys, that was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. And I that smell, so smell how good that is now. Like after it sat a little bit, like that smells so, so really good. Smells like good. vanilla, a little bit of sweet. Oh, I want to drink more of it. You ready for your interlude? What? Soon. We have, a, we have another guest here. Another guest. Guys. So yeah. you just don't worry. No, I don't want to give ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Somebody's not okay. sharing gelato. With so, us right now. yeah. She, uh, <laughs> um, it was funny because yesterday, the other day, I was telling you guys that I, uh, I, I was asking Alice to be on for the 100th subscriber, my wife. And uh, she said, Are you guys going to be tasting ice cream? And I was like, No, we're going to be doing scotches and bourbons. She's like, oh, I'll do ice cream. Um, so I went out today and I got her some. A couple of pints of really good gelato. So I was going to see if she wanted to do those on the show. I thought it would be pretty funny. But it did. She got herself some nice, nice Italian gelato. So why don't we put some of the whiskey on the gelato? Yeah, and then I That's what we were thinking. That, that sounds, is what we were I thinking. I mean, I, to me, that sounds, that sounds, that sounds like fun. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And you know what we actually got? We actually got bourbon vanilla bean gelato. So Boom. Good. So good. So. This is Brad's blind tasting results here. I love um, it. I'm surprised because I thought Jared, like I thought my number one was going to be Spice Tree. Yeah. Because I've had that before and I thought that was my favorite. Jura was my first favorite, but as my taste per, you know, and as my taste have gotten better. I mean, how do you go wrong with McAllen though? See, this is the thing is McAllen is a crowd pleaser. Um, like, look how elegant this bottle looks. It I does. Mean, this, I mean, this is a shelf. It is a nice bottle. Just a for nice sure. looking bottle on the shelf. I mean, if you're drinking a McAllen 12, people know you're into whiskey. See, and this is the thing is that- In I, my opinion. In my opinion, I just find that McAllen for what it is, the price point is always just a bit tough to swallow. So this bottle here is 85 Canadian plus your taxes at, at the BC Liquor Store, hundred bucks. Um, I love it for that price. Price point, Jeff, what's Compass? Or Compass what's box, you're looking at 77. Jura? Jura 72. I'm probably on an ongoing basis. I'd probably spend the money to do. Me too. Probably 
especially when you're talking about five more bucks, right? Five more right. bucks, I'm probably going here, but no brainer. You know. Um, so, but I mean, I think that I think the Macallan is delicious. I really, really like it. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. Um, I think it's excellent, but the trouble is if you get I've got my eye on right now is the mask strength um, right now at the BC liquor store for 129 Expensive, but incredible with Is any of these three favorites here any day of the week? And that's an interesting point. So uh, Brad was texting me this one night. He's like, yeah, he's like, you know, I got this opportunity to get like Johnny Walker Blue at a good price. Should I do it? And I said, like, everyone should try it once, but don't get your hopes up. Because uh, as people out there who've had the Blue know, it's, you know, 300, 310, 320 bucks a bottle, depending on where you buy it. And Brad, what do you think? Did it live up? I didn't think it was all that great on the nose. And I thought for me, for my taste, it was a little bit strong. It wasn't very smooth. And I ended up giving a little bit of a way to a friend of mine who liked it. And I just, you can have it. I would have been more than happy. I actually went and drank a jerk right after that. Okay. Thank you, Andrew Spurlf, too, for giving us uh, feedback on the uh, live stream. Just uh, letting us know what's going on in terms of the feed. I think uh, one thing is, is that uh, when you get a little bit of a better camera, like I picked up today for the stream, that makes the latency a bit tougher and it frees up once in a while. So thanks for sticking with us through those technical issues, guys. Appreciate it. Um, so, what should we do now? Bourbon flight? Bourbon flight, sure, let's do it. Let's just check it out. So why don't why don't we do this? Why don't um, we clear these out and we'll line up some bourbons. Show the, show the people what we've got. Just leave me the drams of the stuff I'm gonna finish. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, this one. And so, yeah, what I forgot, to, what I forgot to actually tell <laughs> you guys. That's that why you're okay. That's fine. I'll take you right now. And what I forgot to tell you guys was that night that we were doing that crazy, uh, we, we filmed four reviews. Um, Kyle, being the responsible gentleman that he is, and we always want you guys to drink and enjoy responsibly, he was driving home that night, so he could only have like a little thimble of each of the whiskeys that we were trying, and that was it. So Brad and I, the fish, we became Kyle's dump glass. So we were just drinking all the whiskey that he wasn't drinking. So that would be a huge factor in the. Uh, I thought we had a great time. Oh, we did. It was a blast. I paid for the next morning, but yeah, I wasn't feeling all that great. It was a slow day. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm gonna make shout out to my wife the next day. Thanks for taking me to Costco and Walmart and Quality Foods that day. Yeah, loved every minute of it. He wouldn't have been able to do that for himself. So. So yeah, yeah really thank good. you for that. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. All right. Ooh, forgot to bring our little light in there. I just oh. love this little light. It's a little accent light, you know. Jeff, you can you tell me the, uh, the cask that you got? The oh, yeah. Right yeah, 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 absolutely. Sure. So I think if you guys have been watching, um, you may have uh, followed my Instagram or uh, sort of seen some posts that I did there about um, picking up a cask. So I had the unique opportunity to buy a retired cask. It's an empty cask. But what was really cool about it is that I bought it from a guy who was in the whiskey club <laughs> that went in on a barrel share. And so he actually offered me at half price, a bottle of the Shelter Point um, cask strength. Um, and it was also aged for an extra year for the Whiskey Club. So that was a pretty cool experience. And so that will definitely be in the background of some videos to yeah. come. Absolutely. And you guys will see that. It's really cool little kind of, I don't know, I guess we just kind of use it to put our whiskeys on and our whiskey. I think, it's, I think it's awesome. It's great. It's super cool. So we are going to get into some bourbons, guys. So um, we're going to put these aside. Now, we would never abuse alcohol by throwing these out. We'll just keep those aside till later on. I got them. All right. So, and as I mentioned to you guys, we have a fairly limited selection of uh, bourbons. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's because one thing is, is that I really have to say, we do not get the same quality level of bourbon here that you guys do in the States, if you're watching from the States. And when we do get it, we pay a pretty penny compared to what you guys do. So for example, you can get a bottle of, let's say, um, Evan Williams bottled in bond, pretty standard bottling, uh, about 18 bucks in the States, and we pay 40 bucks here. So double. Yeah. So it just goes to show you, right? So I'll just pull out some of the bourbons that we are going to try tonight. We have, yes, one of my favorite, um, now I would love this to be the Weller 12 or even better, the Antique 107. 
but we cannot get any of that type of stuff here. So we are going to be trying the Weller Special Reserve. Very mellow, this one's a weeder, so they swap out the rye and the mash bill for wheat and you get a very smooth, delicious, inviting, welcoming product, I think. So we'll do the Weller. Uh, I've got this one. Now I will say guys, the uh, Bullet Bourbon, I just reviewed this with my wife. It's decent, it's okay, but in reality, I only ever use this for mixed drinks. So I usually will make an old fashioned with the Bullet and that's generally why I keep that one around. But you know, it's, it's in the collection and it's one of the only five bourbons I've got right now. So we're gonna do a flight with that one in there. I know it's a little meager guys, so Stick with us, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna pump it up a little bit from here. So we got we got the Henry McKenna single barrel, aged ten years, bottled in bond. Uh, very high rye on this guy is what I detected, but an excellent bottle and fairly reasonable. You cannot find it here, so I had my brother pick this up for me when he was in the states, and he got it for a decent price. I think it was about thirty five US or so, so not too bad. And then we have got the. Classic for bourbon drinkers, the Wild Turkey 101. Excellent value there. And this was <laughs> gobble, gobble. This was the one that sent us right over the top. Uh, the Wild Turkey for this crowd is a... I just heard gobble, uh, gobble. I remember that for sure. I don't even know what to tell you guys. It's just a dangerous dram altogether. Um, 101 proof, so high strength and uh, nothing but good times with the 101. And it's very affordable. Even here with the 101, can't go wrong as... Uh, uh, Donner Pass Whiskey says, um, and this guy here, the Wild Turkey 101, you pay about 36 bucks in Canada for. So affordability wise, very affordable. And then next we've got, I really like this bottle quite a bit. So we'll get this uh, little mini barrel out of the way there to show you guys what we're gonna be doing our flight with. And we've got the Woodford Reserve. Now this Woodford Reserve is the distiller select. And I'd really love it to be the double oaked because you bourbon drinkers out there probably know this. The double oaked is supposed to be absolutely fantastic. Haven't had a, a chance to try it, no, but it is neither. on my list. And here in BC and Victoria, we can get that for about 75 bucks a bottle. So it's not terrible. Whereas this guy here, the distiller select runs you about 47, 48 bucks. So it's a jump, but apparently it's, uh, it's well worth it. So these are the bourbons that I have on offer for you guys tonight. So, Here's the thing, I'm gonna make these guys set up the blind flight because I wanna do the uh, tasting with them as well. So we've got, we should have anyways, uh, five new glasses. Two, three, four. Where's our other clean glass? Here we go. So we've got five new glasses and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have these guys uh, pour the drams and put the co corresponding stickers onto the bottom of the uh, drams. So just to show you guys what we're doing, we just got these cheap dollar store stickers and you just do like, you know, a sticker to represent the color of the dram that you pour and you just match that with the whatever bottle it came from. Right, how you did it with me right. for, for Brad. So you guys good with that? We can do it. All right, let's do it. I'll be back. Okay. All right. Okay. What do you want to go with here? Just make sure you put the right one in the right box with the right color. So okay. just stick it on the bottom. I've got a heavy hand, so they're probably going to be generous drams. No. Okay. No, put that one on the bottle. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You got a. Can I put it right on top here? Sure. Well, put it on. Sorry, it's people can see it. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Jeff. Oh, hey. You're not supposed just, to be here. I know. I'm bringing a, just, <laughs> just bringing a chair. You're not supposed to be here. I carried the watermelon. You carried the watermelon? Yeah. Okay, cool. Brian, you ever seen Dirty Dancing? It's my wife's favorite movie. Of course I've seen Have Dirty you Dancing. Seen it? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, everybody's seen that one, haven't they? Nobody keeps baby in the corner. Okay. No, no, well, nobody puts baby in the corner. See, Sorry. exactly. Right? Yeah. You done fucked it up, Brad. Oh, I don't care. Okay. Which one are you putting in there? Mm -hmm. Don't let him see you. Let's see if you go there. Ooh. Really? Okay. Alice is going to be tasting these ones too. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I like it. I'm not looking. Put a stick on the one yet? Nope. Nope. Do it. Which color is it? All right, so we got one more. Hold on. Why? No, because you don't want to be giving you. The, the they people. Won't, they won't tell me. Better not give you any hints. They won't. Sorry, guys, we're a little bit slow on this. That's a healthy. That's, that's <laughs> a healthy. <laughs> We're not getting the <laughs> worst. That's no. fine. <laughs> Jeff will finish that one. Okay. We're good. Okay. Mm hmm. Deep base every time. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. We're ready? You're good to go. Okay. Oh, this one All right. I'm going to do this. Should I do it with Alice? You guys mixed up the glasses? Yeah. All mixed up? I hope so. Let's just do it yeah. again, just okay. in case. Here we go. All right, Alice, get in here. What? Yeah. Oh. Time for you to taste some bourbon. Yeah, but don't tell me because I'm going to know which one is starting. All right, I've got the first mate in the house. <laughs> she loves that. That's good, eh? <laughs> <She loves laughs> That's so mate. good. I, I think it's great. The first mate, it's hilarious. So, so good. You should be the first mate. No, no I'm the he's, he's the fish. fish. He's the co ca co captain. All right. And then Kyle's a special guest. I'm too IC, right? I mean, it's yeah. just. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> guys, come on. You know that's good. Chime in on the live chat. Yeah, you let us know if you like the nickname First Mate. So good. The Whiskey Explorer, the First Mate. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's good. It's a teacher joke. All right. So. Yeah, because those ones are all funny. Yeah, always. <laughs> Am I supposed to be drinking? You will be drinking with me. There's only one glass for you. Yeah, we can share. A couple that shares bourbon pairs bourbon. No, you take so long to drink your bourbon. It takes forever. See? Okay, I think I know what this is. Uh, but I won't, uh, like, kind of give my opinion. I'll just try it. And uh, I'll also try it. So, ladies first. So, it's one of these. It's one of yeah. these. But you're not guessing which one it is. We're just trying to decide just which ones we on like. So people know what it is. Like, which one we like the best. Oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah. So, we Can don't even. drink it? Yeah. We don't even have to like guess which is which. I mean, that's part of the fun, but. <laughs> that's good, right? Yeah, she loved it. Not good. <laughs> she doesn't like it. I just did okay. that one. I know what that one tastes like. So there we go. Get the autofocus back. Woo! 
Woo! Ooh, that one's hot. Okay, I thought I knew what this was. Um, and then now I have to change what I think it is, now that I've tried it. Um, that one kicks hard. So that's got to be, I taste the proof, so that's got to be either the 101 or the McKenna. But uh, just going to go with go with, uh, go with with that now and just... Can we guess which one it is? Nope, not yet, not yet. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Just water there. A little palette cleanse. Um, now we're gonna try this one. That's a teacher joke too. Yeah, that's actually that a, a that tricky. That was a tricky <laughs> that was a bad joke. Any bad joke is a teacher joke. Uh, come on now. This one smells nice. Just wait till I'm a dad. Oh <laughs> Jeez. I'm excited. The mm -hmm. mini whiskey explorer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you like that one better? Yes. Okay. So a thousand times there's a, you can do the first one a tasted cleanse. like white trash whiskey. Ooh, the first one tastes like white trash whiskey. Hey, come on now. We live, we live on the wrong side of the tracks these days. So like Jack Daniels. Kind we're of in there. Oh, like that's what it tasted like. I don't know. It's a lot of good Jack Daniels out there. Not that I've had. Gentleman Jack, single barrel. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. I know what this one is too. It's this do one. You? Nope. It's, it it's actually this one, Weller, but very nice, I think you're, I think you're um, well sweet, well. caramel, butterscotch, very easy, gentle arrival, not too much of a finish, um, kind of disappears right away, but a smooth, delicious, caramel, toffee type of experience there with a little hint of baking spices. Good, like that one. So if I'm starting to rank already, this one would go up. This one would be like over here. I don't know what these other ones taste like yet, but it's it's going up. Okay, so I'll move these back a bit. This one here, the first one, that one's gonna stay down here until I kind of try some more and, and decide what I think. It's from delicious to white trash flavor. Yeah, that's okay. how we're ranking it today. All right, that sounds good. On to the next one. On to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a heavy pour on the dram for sure. I definitely was a little heavy on that one. Like Don't forget, guys. Always do a palate cleanse. Cleanse your palate with some water. You can even you can even cleanse your nose palate. And the way you do that is you just smell yourself. So since that's the smell you're always the most familiar with, kind of is a good palate reset. It resets the. Uh, I didn't know that, Jeff. Yeah, it resets the nose palate. Oh, that yeah. oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> Palate. Excuse me while I go for a palate cleanse on the nose here. Mmm, that smells pungent. Ready for the next one. Many leather bound books. Many leather bound books. You owe it to yourself to sniff some dusty leather. <laughs> That's right. So go back and check out our uh, Henry McKenna, I think it was, our review that that quote came from. All right, let's try this one. What? There's also a four-legged guest in the house too. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's good. Right? I really like this. Do you know what it is? This one's delicious. Actually, no. No, you don't. Know. Whatever this is. I, I, I honestly just picked up bottles and poured them. This is a tasty <laughs> ground. It's just like <laughs> color sticker pour it. I, I, Here we go. Oh. So there's some of these I've never tried either. So brown sugar, maple syrup, butterscotch, into cinnamon and nutmeg. Very, very pleasant, but very sweet. And if I didn't know any better, I'd have to say that's the Woodford Reserve. You think that's the Woodford Reserve? I didn't. Yeah, that's the one I want to try. Out of all Delicious. Of okay, so this one's going up for me. What do you think? No, that's not number one. That's number two. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Right? The soft two wasn't that good. Soft two, okay. Does the now, captain have we tried? The first mate agree? Have we tried these Are two? they going to agree on the ranking? I think so. Mm, I don't think so. No? Okay, so what about these two? Have we tried these? No. No. Okay, you're up. So much booze on the table. Yeah, that's how we roll the Whiskey Explorer. That's what we do. Oh, there's the, uh, what are we going to call her? She's the first mate. She's. I'm, I'm number one, you're number She's two. the number squirmy two. dog. Is what it is. <laughs> the uh, scallywag. She's the scallywag for sure. Perfect. All right. So, how's that one? Alice is making a face, so I'm thinking she doesn't like it. It's got a bad aftertaste. I don't like that. No. That's the bullet because it no. burns. This mm -mm. is the bullet. 
Nope, it's too hot. The proof is too high. Um, this one's got some I'm kick right. to it. It burns like a bullet then. What does everybody think that this one is? Comment, let us know. It's the Spicy? lurker one. No. The lurks on the no. Toilet. Spicy, it's definitely at least 100 proof. So it's either the Wild Turkey 101 or it's the Henry McKenna. How do you know what proof it is just by tasting it? You can't tell. Well, the Whiskey Explorer knows. Or does he? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> right. We're only really testing the Whiskey Explorer. Where do, where do you think this goes? Uh, behind the second one. That's what I think too. Okay, so this is the only one we haven't tried yet. Yeah. Try it out. So we have agreed so far. Yep. This one stinks. <laughs> I don't want to drink this one. I'm loving the comments right now, guys. These are awesome. You guys are definitely, these Should are good. <sighs> so they're calling the last one the WT. Okay, so so, uh, so that'd be the wild turkey. Yeah, wild know, turkey one yeah, one. With the proof and the rye, add spice and the kick too. That's what they're saying. Yeah, so absolutely. That sounds right. Awesome insight to that. Definitely. I thought the wild turkey was the first one we tasted because wow. it's the most white trash name and it tastes the most white trash. <laughs> and you don't like the name wild turkey? I don't like the. You don't name. like the name? No. Okay. No. I don't disagree this with you. This one's the classiest. Uh, I mean, I think wild turkey needs a better name. I don't think it's yeah, great. Yeah, that one's the classiest. Bullet's kind of cool. This one's classy, trashy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, where would you put this one? I really want to try the Woodford whenever Third. we figure out which one that Third? is. Third? So before that other one before it? Okay. So we're going to go with Alice's ranking. I'm not sure really where I'd put that one, so that's fine for me. I can live with that. So pull these guys back a bit so you guys can actually see the drams. Here are I'll the rank drams. the bottles on which ones are best bottles. Okay. That's the kind of thing that Alice likes to do. Woodford is nicest. This one looks like a Tarantino movie. Mm -hmm. This one's lame. Ooh, lame on the McKenna. kind of old manish but classy. I, I like the image of Woodford. WT is associated with white trash for sure. That's where we get Virgo. Yeah, hey. that is <laughs> true. Hey, obviously, there's Alice's That's absolutely on, true. The first mate's on the something, I think. Okay. I mean, it's, so this is Alice's ranking. Okay. So this is so this is a bottle ranking, nicest bottles. Is this yes, what this is the this nicest is her, from to nicest to crappiest. So, but this is the ranking of the drafts from best to worst. And that's, so and that's best to worst. If the inside for just the chaos. just the, the bottles. bottles. Yeah. So nothing to do with anything other than aesthetics. And then the whiskeys are best to worst this way too. That's what she's saying. Okay. okay. Yeah. Best to okay. worst trash. Okay. Okay. So should we reveal? I think we should. Okay. Yeah. So. This was the first, the number one, her, her, her favorite bourbon. This is actually probably my favorite as well. We've got the red dot. What do we got? No. Was it the bullet? No. I did bullet. not like that when we tasted it last No. This what? Is that, See? that can't oh. never be. That just can't You're be. Just blinded by the no, no, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Come on now. They poured it. Jeff, you can't argue fate. I hated the one what you like. way more than it's the okay. Do you, you guys, I was, you I guys picked, are tricking me. No, I picked my cap on this my third and it was look at that one. I'm not shook. happy about this. I'm not, not, I'm not okay with this. Okay, so that's bullet. So second favorite. Um, is that green or yellow? I to say. Well. I'm colorblind, so don't ask me. That this is one. green. I feel like that's green. Oh, okay, Weller, that makes sense because these two I was undecided on. These two drums. I was like, these these could either one of these could have been first for me. No, no, the one that was first was the best. All right. So what do we got here? We've got uh, orange bronzy dot, which is the one you were just holding. Okay. Yeah, Woodford. There we go, Woodford. That's a disappointment because we liked that in the movie. We loved that. Love that was that. one of our favorite. And so we know that these are 101 and the McKenna. Shocking. So blue. Which one was blue? Wild turkey. Wild turkey. So this Speak one is on McKenna. McKenna is most white trash. Ooh. I think you're going to have some people in the live chat disagree with you there. Okay. <laughs> I am um, not a whiskey drinker, so. True. 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 I would put this on ice cream, so. Okay. There you go. Wow. Well, there you go. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Well, that does our blind tasting. Can you guys believe it? We picked. Bullet bourbon as our favorite whiskey, our favorite bourbon. Which Crazy. one was the and which one again was the Woodford? Is that this one here? Yeah. Yes. I've always I'm I'm gonna try it because I've never had Do one. it, man. Get in there. Try that out. Oh man, does that ever smell good? 
Okay, so before we want we run out of uh, before yeah, I've, okay. I've had some whiskey. Uh, before That's we run out of time way. for the live stream, apparently we did. Um, <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. We're going to invite you guys to drop a keyword into the chat, and that is what we will draw the name for a awesome sample. And we are going to keep it real. We are going to send you guys a kick-ass sample of Canadian whiskey if you're in the States. If you're not and you have something else you've seen on the show or on the channel that you'd rather have instead, you just shoot me a line, thewhiskeyexplorer at gmail.com, and I will hook you up with whatever sample it is that you want from the collection we've, we've tried on the channel. So that's just kind of an offer to my American friends out there across the border that have a hard time finding good Canadian whiskey. We want to try to hook you up. So drop the keyword into the chat, explorer. Explorer is the key word. So if you'd like to be included in our draw for a nice sample of whiskey to help celebrate our 100 subscribers, um, drop that into the chat and we will go through the chat after the live stream and we will put those names into a draw and we will hook you guys up with a sample. Okay, so make sure you guys um, tune in to the next video review uh, where we will have a, or I might just do a, just quick little mini video just to do the draw and uh, send out the sample. So make sure you guys tune in to the Whiskey Explorer. If you haven't done so already, please hit like, subscribe, uh, check us out, check, no thumbs down. <laughs> uh, check us out on Patreon if you like the channel and you wanna support us. Um, we are too young in our history yet to have super chats on our live streams. So that's a way that you can support our channel and um, help us to continue exploring different whiskeys and reviewing them for you guys. Now, Jeff, do we have any up and coming announcements or we anything? We absolutely do. Thank Some you, events, Brad, for asking. Stuff coming Thank up that you we're very doing. much for asking. Absolutely. This has been a busy week for us. This has been a busy week for the Whiskey Explorer indeed. So Alice is going to have some of the um, bullet. I'm going to have some of the uh, Weller. I'm going to drink and the Woodford. You're going to drink the Woodford. Perfect. Right right here. Here. Yeah. I'm going to drink this. And Kyle, you're on your own. So again, thank you guys okay. so much for coming and joining our live stream tonight. I'll try to lose her one, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what I wanted to tell you guys is the thing that we're going to have coming up, one of them, we already kind of discussed that. Check that out. How cool is that? The Whiskey Explorer mini cask. So we are going to be doing some uh, aging experiments with that. First, we're going to actually create whiskey from moonshine. So it's going to be actually more like a bourbon because it's um, the, the moonshine is a high corn mash. So it'll be more like a bourbon really than anything. Um, and what's so cool about this mini barrel is it's so small that it ages whiskey so fast. So we're going to put that moonshine in for like a week or less, and we're gonna just see what we get in terms of a whiskey out of that. And the best part is, is we're gonna take you guys on the entire journey. Yes, we're gonna show you guys step by step. If you choose to go to Barrels Limited or to another company and get yourself one of these super cool that's that little, uh, that's the bung, oh. your favorite. The bung hole. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Come on. Um, that's the term. So, um, <laughs> that is actually the term. She is right about that. Um, and then you've got this cool little spout on here and stuff too. So if you guys decide to get yourself one, we're going to walk you through right from seasoning the cask. So basically what you do is first you rinse it out, then you put in some water, you let it sit for 24 hours, see if there's any leaks, empty out the water, then you put your whiskey in. Or if you put your other item in there, so if you want to do a port finish on your whiskey, you put that in first to season the cask. We're going to take you through that step by step. I'm, but, I'm absolutely loving the comments in the live stream. Jeff has had a chance to look at them because we didn't want him to, uh, um, to obviously get any hints during his blind tasting, but awesome comments from everybody. We really appreciate it. We're going to do more live streams, obviously, because they're just, uh, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. So, so fun. And guys, honestly, this is the weird thing about live streams is I was always watching everyone's videos. I'm a guy that's got very little time. I know a lot of you out there have busy schedules too. So I would always shy away from watching live streams because they just wouldn't line up with when I could tune in or, you know, just an hour long was just too long for me to tune in for or whatever it was. But I'm just absolutely loving doing the live streams. And now I'm participating in so many live streams. I jump on whenever I can. And so Eric from California, what's happening, buddy? I just saw your comment. Awesome. And I'm glad that you're coming to us from all the way that far. That's wicked. Absolutely. And Eric, wait. Yes. Thank you so much. A uh, heavyweight absolutely in the whiskey world and as I understand too, the wine world. So thank you so much, Eric, for stopping by. I really appreciate that. And thanks for subscribing. And we'll have to work out 
some kind of an exchange program that we can do so that we might just be able to um, get ourselves a sample of the drum. So I know you had said you can't send it to Canada because customs will snag it. Luckily, I have a shipping service in Blaine, so we'll have to work something out there. I'll send you some really good Canadian stuff. Maybe you can send me a little sample of that drum. So we'll never get the Art Bag drum here. Now, Jeff, are, do we have, um, do we want to update everybody on any of the events coming for any distilleries Absolutely. that we might be visiting? I'm or? going to be letting you do that. Okay. I just don't name the distilleries, but definitely tease what we're all about, what we're going to do. Um, we, Jeff and I have been in contact um, with a distillery this week that's local here. Um, they recently won an award for one of the best spirits in the world. Um, we were very fortunate um, that they commented back to us, and they got back to us, and we're actually just sorting out the dates. But we're going to go and visit them. We're going to go on a tour. We're going to have an interview with them. We're taking you guys with us. It's going to be – you guys aren't going to want to miss that one because it's going to be a blast. With the recognition that they've gotten recently. Absolutely. You guys are it, – it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. They have some of the best spirits you can get. They're local, and that's what we love. So. What's super cool is we don't have just one necessary lined up for you guys. We've got two. So we're going to be going behind the scenes. We're going to take an in-depth look at their operation. We're going to film it for you. I'm going to send up my drone. We're going to have a look at the operation from the sky just because, hey, I got a drone and I want to use it. Uh, I like it. That's what I do. And uh, we got to explore by the air, by sea, by land, whatever we can. And then we are also going to be doing a tasting with them as well in their tasting room. And we're going to actually get an interview with one of the lead distillers. So our distillery tours are going to be kick-ass. You guys do not want to miss those. These are huge, up-and-coming, awesome distilleries, award-winning, super exciting stuff coming from the Whiskey Explorer, guys. And we are so excited to have you part of the community and so thankful that you guys joined us for live stream. I couldn't agree more. You said they were in perfect job. Love awesome. You. Love you guys. Keep drinking whiskey, and may your dram pours be healthy. Absolutely. Until next time, here guys. We, go. we got all these drams here. We got all these drams. Whiskey Explorer up. Here we go. 100 subscribers. Thank you, guys. Let's get it. There we go. Let's Cheers, guys. It's a long show. That's a good blend. So good. All right. Thanks again, guys. See you later. <laughs> Eric, that's a wicked comment. I don't know if we're still going, but that was fantastic. We are. He's got a good comment.